Yeet and Nextel split. I don't know, but I heard that as well. That like they're not necessarily working as closely. But the thing is, even if they did, I think Nextel Nextel probably gets a percentage of like the royalties just because he was involved during certain releases, or at least that's what I think. Or maybe the manager only gets ten percent or whatever it is of the artist's revenue, at least of what they're getting monthly or quarterly or annually. Just it doesn't have to do with necessarily the song points. I'm not too sure. I guess it depends on like if Nextel technically founded Twizzy Rich with Yeet, because I know some people were telling me that in the U S Yeet's albums were like they were taken down or something like watch this but then i, I talked to nextel so just to give you all a little little insider intel it had nothing to do with nextel i know the yeet reddit was coming after him being like they broke up they're beefing now nextel's taking down all of his songs because as you can see right here so on up to me not available in the u.s what this tells me is that there's some like copyright issue and and Yeet is like a, a major label artist, bro. He was he was top 25, top streamed in in the world. He's not going to like they're not going to just be able to copyright or or Nextel is not going to be able to take down songs on SoundCloud at that level. Like he's got a whole Interscope Geffen behind him. Plus, even if he was able to do that. He knows that Interscope could turn right around and sue his ass for millions of dollars. Like, they're like that. They got corporate lawyers. What is Nextel going to do? So, he just would not be stupid enough to do that. But, yeah. So, all of the Twizzy Rich albums, like, up to me, even though that was an Interscope distro deal, I think. Uh, Trendy, 4L, Alive. Like, all those, all these albums that he released independently, they're not available. But it was not, it was not Nextel. I talked to him and he confirmed that. Use that VPN. So I asked people to confirm to me that they could listen to it like outside the US, but apparently they couldn't. So maybe it's just telling me you can't listen to it. You're in the US. And then when you're in a different country, it also says not available in insert your country's name. But it seems like just a copyright issue. Because again, the amount of money that Yeet loses because soundcloud is monetized i think somewhat at least they get lower rates than other platforms but for all the streams that they lost and they are going to be able to calculate that the lawyers will do their due diligence they could sue nextel or whoever took down the songs for the amount of money lost it's called damages plus they could do punitive damages which is like a 10x multiplier maybe even 100x i don't remember my law classes were so long ago in college but Nobody would be this stupid. Somebody, some kid probably figured out how to copyright songs on SoundCloud and, and scoop up some of the revenue. But to be honest, SoundCloud's not stupid enough to do that either. So they will, they'll probably withhold that revenue and just give it back to Yeet. Actually, never mind, because you can't even play the song. So they're just not getting revenue at all. It's just some troll. It's available for you. Well, you might be in some like New Zealand ass country or something. Did someone huge drop a leak or something? Nah. Unfortunately, like I'm I'm about to go to Rhode Island tomorrow, actually. And if anything pops up, I'm bringing my streaming computer or I'll just record a video on my phone or something. But yeah, I feel like shit is just slow lately. There's been a lot of like Instagram content, but nothing to like react to or talk about. Nothing big. I'm waiting on Destroy Lonely to drop. Uzi, Cardi, Travis Scott, Sofago. Although not really Sofago as much. Uh, who else? That's really it, man. S uh, Summers. Yachty is dropping. Yachty's dropping. This Friday. Is Yeet still dropping Deluxe? I don't know if he was ever dropped. Did he say that? Like he said, if y'all stream it enough, we'll do the deluxe. That might have been just like to get people excited if to, and make him keep streaming. Also, there were some 
screenshots going around were like yeet deluxe he said it was coming out the 21st but also like this is why i don't even like april fools y'all so if, if y'all hate me for posting that for the team actually posting the playboy card is dropping like in april or whatever i i was like i don't really it's april fool so i'll let y'all do it but i i don't i'm an adult like i don't care about the little jokes like that anymore uh where is it right here and so this was also posted and spread around on april fools april 1st and it said 421 cranky on it too for the deluxe but like again i just think it's capped like he like someone was just or maybe it's real and he did it on that date so nobody would believe it and then he'll actually drop and surprise but i highly doubt